Ed, hi, and everybody else, hello, welcome back. Thank you for asking to check out my Dawainiana, Ed. Um, if you don't mind, I pulled out a few more, but I'll get to the Dawainiana first so that if you don't have time to watch the video, then we'll take care of the rest and that's fine, but I don't want to waste your time. So let me just show you what I meant in my comment about the considerable size jump. I got this in August of last year. I should have gotten two. I did not expect such sturdy plants from eBay. It was the French nursery Busca l'Orchidée. And uh, I paid 37 euros for this. And when I got it, I was like kicking myself for not having gotten two. I don't know that I have a Dawiana until it blooms. I'm always a bit skeptical now. Having said that, the quality of the plant was so good. But I was not going to purchase any orchids last year. I had made myself a cut by, I don't know, June of last year. I was not going to buy any more. But when I saw these come up, I just thought, okay, one. And I bought one and then I saw it and I'm like, darn, I should have gotten two. But anyway, Buscal Orchidee from France sent me what I consider a juvenile. And it's actually established itself into this leka with self-watering. Just It just jumped right in and took off. It never crinkled the leaves. It never lost hydration. It came with the two new growths, the, like the back here. They were like tiny, tiny when I got it. So that helps a lot, of course, with regards to when will roots develop. But you can see the growths did not miss a beat. They actually got a little bit higher in the pseudobulb and the stem than what was before. You can see this little one here was a mature growth when I got it. And these two grew then throughout the rest of the summer. And what a prolific little grower it is. It, it's just like happy as a clam in its little setup. But my only thing is that this time, and I mentioned that in the comment, that I only have one growth this year. But look at the size jump. Look at where that bulb is going to end up. So I am quite impressed. I would like to have had two growths, but you know, if it's going to do that on one, then that's okay. That's okay. You, you know, just, just do you and grow and mature. I'm thinking two years to go and then I'll know if this is in actual fact a Dawiana. But fantastic, it's growing really well for me. And then let me just add on to that, and then I'll let you go. And I can yap on about other things, but no. Let me show you my perineae. So my perineae, to my understanding, woke up a little bit earlier than yours did. And then I saw yours in a recent video, and I think we're now in sync. Yours looks like to be the same size, growth as mine is now even though mine woke up a little sooner but yeah my perineae I got this one from Röke Orchideen it came already with these marks on the leaves and also the reddish hues and tinges I had it in much higher light last year but now I have it a little bit more protected and the new leaves are coming out well let me show you they're coming out a bit more greener, but they still have the classic back coloring. So I got it when this one was developing. And of course, one blind sheath as it was getting acclimatized. And then last year, this little pseudobulb here, growth, it grew and bloomed. Two blooms, they lasted 11 days, which was a bit of a bummer. I must say, I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyway, however, now I can see that this new growth is definitely, definitely one size up. So that is looking promising. And that is my, my two that I have based on, well, the Dawiana was the one you wanted to see, but I just thought I'd throw in the Perinii in there as well. And for me, what I what could be a Rex, I got this one from Schwerter. 
I don't know if it is a Cattleya Rex. I have my doubts with them. It'll take years to find out. But I'm getting two new growths. It took to this uh, setup quite quickly as well. I didn't have any issues. But I think that my biggest growth is coming on this side here because of where that bract is, that will be the pseudobulb and it's about double the size of the one behind it. So I'm really pleased about that. I had a bit of scale to deal with on this one early in the year, which was surprising as a bummer, but I think we've gotten, we've taken care of that. I lost one leaf in the back here. This one's about to go as well, but I'm not, I'm not too concerned. But the second growth on my Rex is not going to be as big as the one on the right there. You can see where that sheath bract thing there is a little bit smaller. But there is a small size jump to, to see here with what will hopefully be a Rex one day. And here I have my Cuculata crossed with Purpurata. Has never bloomed for me. Now I believe this cross is a Lelia Amethyst. To my understanding, that's what it is. It's been establishing itself quite nicely. I got this from Orchid Garden in Poland and surprisingly it wasn't a bad plant. It wasn't weak. Jumped into the setup without any second thoughts. And I had a beautiful new set of growths last year, these two. I thought they would did really well. I was surprised that this big one didn't bloom. Oh well. But now I have another one coming and it's sticking something out here, which is giving me hope. I hope that's not just the end of the leaf tricking me like this little stump over here, but I hope that this could amount to a bloom spike. It would be fantastic. And on top of that, it's now just, it's just going nuts and throwing out another growth. So what's not to like? Brassavola cuculata crossed with Lelia purpurata. Should be quite pretty if it is what it says on the tin. And then the woes of growing outside and not paying attention all the time. I burned my golf green hair pig last year's growth, the one that bloomed. Just wanted to show you mine. It's losing one of the seedling leaves in the back and it's producing its first new growth of this year which I thought was super late because after it bloomed for a long, long time, it did absolutely nothing. So I thought, well, that's super late. But you know, they bloom very into the winter, early, early spring, late winter, early spring. So uh, it's got time. I was just surprised how long it actually took to start getting a move on with a second growth. I have another eye down here but that's not really, hasn't done anything for a couple of months. So I don't know, it's there teasing me. One new growth though on the golf green hair pig. And then here is the Chunye Good Life, number one. So I have a fantastic sheath coming up here. Big, big yellow blooms with a massive, massive 10 centimeter span lip. It's amazing. So they are looking really, really good. I love the freckles on the leaves. Love it. This is coming along nicely. Just wanted to show that. And then here, my mailman. How I wish. Last year I had this one growing in my hotch section, my top gun section on the east side. And then I saw it was developing buds. And then I moved it to my blooming alley to protect the buds from any of the harsh elements of the outside world. <clears throat> and it pr promptly dumped them. I was like, what? It, it, I mean, I'm not talking 10, cent 10 meters. I'm not even 10 meters away from where it was to where I put it. And it dumped the buds. So this year, we're back on with another really strong growth. And if it starts to form buds again, I'm not moving it. I really want to see these blooms. But it's a gorgeous grower. I got it with this leaf all kinked away. You know, the upright growing habit is compromised in that case, so I don't know what happened there. Ciliano had a chomp out of my leaves. Oh my gosh, when I saw that, I was like, no, so sad. Anyway, 
moving on. So this was, when I got it, I had only these, this back part grew this one last year. Again, it took to the system, no questions asked. It was like, okay, this is where I belong, off we go. And here we grow. It was massive, a massive size jump in my first year. And we're back to doing it again. Now, I can't tell if it's gonna be a smaller one. This bract looks a little bit low for my liking. But anyway, it's growing upright. That's all important for me. This thing is a bit of a nuisance when it comes to putting it on a shelf in the winter. But other than that, yeah, just a quick look. Just thought I'd throw other things in here. And uh, I hope that you like what you see. If you see something that, like with my perineae, with the colors and something, well, you know, if you say, no, this is not normal, uh, I don't know what to do about it. Having said that, thank you so much for asking for my, to have a look at my Dawiana. And I hope you didn't mind I threw other things into the mix as well. In the whole time I've been yapping away here, I feel like we're being watched. Check this out. He's just everywhere. Now he's hiding under the shelf. Cousin It, what are you up to here? All right, okay. Nobody's wearing a skirt in these parts. Anyway, Ed and everybody else that joined and is watching this video, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for your support. As always, I really, really do appreciate it. Everybody have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.